Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to look at one of the most basic video transitions, and that is what I like to call the blackout, okay? So that works something like this. Or maybe something like this. Well, that looks kind of stupid. Let's get rid of that. Okay guys, well you get the idea, right? So uh, the blackout is used to jump from one situation to the next, okay? From me wearing a shirt, to wearing a shirt and jacket, to wearing the helmet and so forth. But normally you would do this to make bigger jumps, if you will. So a jump in time or a jump in space. So that would be something like this. There you go guys, now right side. So uh, let's uh, jump back in and uh, I'll show you how this is done. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, well, we're in uh, Filmora right now, but you can basically use any video editing software that you like, whether you have Premiere Pro or After Effects, it doesn't really matter that much. This is such a basic transition that you'll be fine, okay? So what I did here is I brought in two clips. I brought in the clip that I was inside and uh, I'll just uh, show you that. To make bigger jumps, if you will. Okay, and let's uh, move that over here. So my hand is going in and I'm covering the camera, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna cut your video at the point where your um, image goes black. So here I'm moving my hand towards the camera and I'm blocking it, and then you cut it right there. And then the next clip here is the one where I'm outside and where I start to remove, and I didn't cut this one yet, so I can show you. So I went outside, and let's see, now I'm covering the camera, so we're gonna cut it right there. You can see it's nice and black. Maybe jump a few steps to the right, there we go. So I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna cut that one as well. We'll get rid of that middle section, and then let's see what kind of transition we get if we do this. This. Okay, not too bad. Uh, we can trim this just a little bit because I don't want that transition to take too long. So I'm just gonna go into this clip right here and trim it down just a little bit. And we'll take that out. And now what you can do if you like is put a really small crossfade transition in between here. Now depending on what type of software you're using, I can just take a default here, a dissolve, drag that onto my timeline so there'll be a transition between the two and what we'll get is something like this something like this and there you go guys well that's all there's to it it's extremely basic it's uh, used quite a lot but it's uh, a lot of fun okay so uh, have fun with that if you have any questions let me know as always, if you have any requests, please uh, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to see more videos in the future, okay? Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.